It's either Jesus Christ or it's not Jesus Christ. Either his body, blood, soul, and divinity or just remains bread and wine. It's kind of, it's an all or nothing sort of thing and Jesus calls us to be all in with him. And we're going to need to be all in with him if we're going to fight in this spiritual battle. And the apostles and through them the church teaches very precisely about the Eucharist. That it's not simply a meal, not simply a sign or a representation, not just a commemoration of the meal of the Last Supper. It is the sacrament, the most holy sacrament, the sacrament of sacraments, the sacrament par excellence. Or to use the words of our, the Second Vatican Council, the source and the summit of the Christian life. Because it is the real presence of Jesus. And why do we believe this? Why do we believe something so preposterous and outrageous? We would never believe it unless he told us. And Jesus is not a liar. If you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you will have eternal life. And I will come to you and live in you. And if Jesus lives in us truly, substantially, sacramentally. Then we can fight this war. We can pray with perseverance and persistence and prevail as members of his mystical body.